This is their favorite story that they tell about me to everyone. Everyone. So we finished Stripe. We sent the cast. We were like, you're done. Go. Mm -hmm. We were going to go to IHOP and get food all together and whatever. So they were at IHOP. By the time we got to IHOP, everyone had been there for an hour and a half. And there was no food on any table yet. And I looked around at everyone. There's probably 50 of us there. Because mm -hmm. it's the full cast, the full crew, mm -hmm. all the moms that helped with the lobby. Were, literally, we're a huge long table full of people and then three booths. No food in. So I was like, have you guys not ordered yet? They're like, no, we ordered as soon as we got. And I remember Ben Pluto's face, his eyes just went. I was like, excuse It's been an hour and a half. Well, yeah, but I mean, I mean they're busy. And it was pretty busy. I hopped, the whole I hop was almost full. Okay. And I said, that's nice. I said, okay. All right. And eventually, one of the waitresses came over because she saw that a few of us were newly there. She came over and took our drink orders, and I said, oh, we, we'll go ahead and order our food now, too. Oh, well, I, I need to put the drink in, and I said, no. You're going to take our food over, order now. Thank you, because we know what we want. Okay. It's like, oh, oh, we're starting already. Okay. And then I finished my order. Well, I had Danny order first, and, and uh, the other person was with us. And then I ordered last. And, and she started to walk away and said, excuse me, where's everybody else's food? Ding, 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 wrong one. Oh, well, well, I, I put it in, so I, I, I'll go check on it. I said, you do that. <laughs> and I saw fear enter her eyes. And she walked, and I watched her walk in as she started putting in our order and then disappeared into the service area. Like sitting in front of me was uh, Sierra, Haley, Cross, and Danny was next to me, Landon, Ballard. It's so like my kids were all next to me. And they all knew me. Mm -hmm. And they saw it. They saw it happening <laughs> in my eyes. Landon was like, You're not happy, are you? <laughs> to toe because she should have walked directly to that kitchen window and said where's the food for that whole section of the restaurant they're like well don't and I said oh I'm making a scene y'all because a scene needs to be made and I stood and you saw all everyone in our area turned and looked at me and I stood and I turned slowly and I began walking towards the kitchen, and Diane Polky goes, get him, bitch. <laughs> get him. I said, oh, I'm getting him. And I walked into the server's area, and I walked up to that kitchen window, and one of the managers saw me, and you saw the fear of God enter them. Because they knew this wasn't some weird entitled person. They knew. And she started walking up to me. And I put my hand up and I leaned into the cooks and I said, I just have a simple question. We are missing almost 50 plates of food on this side of the restaurant. Where would those be? <laughs> because by my watch, it's been an hour and 40 minutes now. They have not gotten food. And I know it doesn't take an hour and 40 minutes to make food here. I said, this is not okay. The manager was like, it's been an hour and 40 minutes for your tables. I said, an hour and 40 minutes. I said, no, I am not going to scream. I'm not going to call anyone names. I'm not going to whatever because I'm not that kind of person. This is not someone being entitled because we've waited 30 minutes for our food. I said, this is an hour and 40 minutes. I said, 
said our friends have literally watched as tables have come in, ordered, gotten their food, eaten, paid, and left. And they've still been over here waiting for their food. So I said there's a breakdown of communication somewhere, either our server, or you as a manager. I said, I work in food service. I know how this works. We're told that 40 minutes is too long. 40 minutes. And she said, you're absolutely right. 40 minutes is ridiculous. I said, we're an hour and 40. So what are you gonna do? Make the food now. Stop every other order. Make the food now. I said, thank you. And then I walked out from the service area and stood right there at the wall and watched. <laughs> and they moved so fast. <laughs> and all of a sudden, the plates started appearing. Like that? And I went, oh! So fast. <laughs> and she grabbed every single server and had them start bringing those plates rapid fire out to the tables. And then I walked into our area as the tables started filling with food. I said, don't touch your food yet. Is that what you ordered? Is that correct? And a bunch of them were wrong. Mm. I went, absolutely not. So I started grabbing the plates and walking them back to the service area. I said, this is wrong. This is what he ordered, and that's not it. This, she's allergic to cheese. She ordered no cheese. There's cheese everywhere. Blah, blah, blah. This and this and this and this and this. And they started fixing the food and came out and blah, blah, blah. And I, the manager, came and pulled me aside and was like, I, I apologize. I don't know how I can apologize to you enough. And she said, how you handled this? I don't think I've ever seen anyone handle it like this, where you, you got it done, and you and whatever. She said, you know, well, normally I would not let someone back in that kitchen area. She said, but the way you did it, I knew something was very wrong, and that you probably worked in food service and knew what you were doing. And I said, yeah, and I was like, in what world? Is this okay? This would be one phone call from a customer like me to corporate, because I have to say chain, to go, this happened at this location. An hour and 40, by the time we got the, the, the food, hour and 50 minutes, mm -hmm. before food ever hit our tables. And the servers were not coming back all the time to make sure the drinks were refilled during that hour and 50 minutes. Mm -hmm. This was an entire staff, including a kitchen staff, that failed. That would result in corporate sending someone to that location, having conversations, and possibly firing a lot of people, including the manager. Mm -hmm. And I said, that's your reality. I was like, no, here's the reality. Because I've worked in the food industry, I have compassion towards people like you. And you did handle this situation really well once you actually woke up and realized what was happening as a manager. Big fail. I'm not going to call corporate. But come on. Come on. Everyone started applauding. <laughs> and I sat down. And I took a very deep breath. And then I looked and I noticed Ben Pluto was not eating his food. He'd taken like one bite. And I went, Is there something wrong with your food? And he goes, No, 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 please. No, 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 it's fine. It's fine. I was like, No, you're not eating your food. Why aren't you eating your food, Ben? <laughs> and he was like, Please, please don't make me the scene. And I was like, The scene has been made. This is act two. Let's keep going. I was like, what's wrong with it? He was like, well. And he slid the plate over. And it was, it was an omelet. It was a mushroom, spinach, 
something else on them, which usually has a little bit of oilness to mm. it, oily, mm -hmm. because of the ingredients in it. Mm. The omelet was sitting in this much oil in the plate, mm. just sitting in oil, Ooh. just pure oil, like cooking oil. Mm. shared food with me, so I'm full or whatever, and I was like, oh no. <laughs> and then I picked up the plate, <laughs> and I just didn't even do it. And I walked over, and I pulled that manager over, and you could see in her face, oh god, I came over. And all I had to do was show the plate to her, and she went, oh my god, I'm so sorry, that is awful. I was like, yeah, at this point, he doesn't even want food. So just take take it. Mm -hmm. Just take it. And so needless to say, not a tip was given to anyone. Yeah. Didn't you like choreograph that they told him not to? And oh, oh fully. Yeah. I was like, no one is tipping. Mm -hmm. They're like, no, we have I was like, what part of that deserves a tip? Mm -hmm. Who deserves that tip? <laughs> you, but I was like, no, this is the kind of situation where in the food industry, it's understood when you don't tip for something like this. Mm -hmm. It is understood. Mm -hmm. That manager's not going to say anything. Mm -hmm. Those servers aren't even going to say anything. You are not expected to tip for that. No. No. Ew. And so everyone got done, and they all went up to pay. And the manager gave everyone like a certain discount mm -hmm. on all of it. Mm -hmm. Everyone. And then Ben went up and went to pay for his food that he didn't eat. Oh. And I stopped him. I said, no, you're not paying for that. Mm -hmm. He was like, well, they made it. And I said, you didn't need it because it was inedible and it was two hours late. Yeah. No. And I looked across at the manager who was checking everyone out, and I said, he's not paying for that. She's like, oh, absolutely not, absolutely not, absolutely mm. not. <laughs> and then I grabbed Ben by the arm and walked him out of the building. <laughs> he was like, but I, but I, I was like, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. <laughs> oh, I was so pissed. We all got the parking lot, and we just started laughing, just roaring. They were like, Andrew, you are the most terrifying human I think I've ever met. I'm gonna shit myself if I was that manager or one of those cooks. Just shit myself. Because you took care of that whole situation without ever raising your voice. That is terrifying. I was like, it got the job done. And I didn't even have to be a bitch. No. Look at me go. And didn't you like, didn't you like, I remember you told me this story like years back. I still remember it to say. Um, you, you turned around after the last one left and said we're never coming back. Yes. Yeah. I'm like, never coming back. That was thousands of dollars worth of food because of how many of us there were. Mm. And everyone ordered drinks and food and appetizers and some dessert and blah, blah, blah. Thousands of dollars that you didn't even get to have the full amount of because you had to discount all of us. Mm -hmm. And we will never have our cast parties here again. Never. There's no excuse for something like that. Didn't like, didn't you, I remember, didn't the, like, the waitress who was taking a good chunk of the orders or something just did not even put the orders in to begin with? Yes. Oh my that God. was why the food didn't go in, because she forgot oh. to put in six tables worth of orders. Oh my God. You know her ass is fired. Oh, hell yeah. I can just imagine, after you guys left the parking lot, the, the man just looked, watched you leave, turned to her staff. The uproar that had to happen in there. And I don't care, I don't, in the situation that I, I don't care what they said about me for the rest of the night. You know, yeah. they all called me a bitch and a cunt and you know, all this kind of stuff or whatever. And I was like, okay. No. All right, that's fine. Fine. Whatever. Absolutely. Absolutely. 
fully justified. No. Me being a bit. Oh yeah, it's just fully. Oh god. But I love when I love when any of those humans that were in that room recount that story. My favorite part whenever they get to it is me rising from the table. <laughs> And how dramatic they make it all sound. <laughs> but in reality, it's probably how I did it too. <laughs> well, probably how, how I did it. How do they do it? Like, and he rose from the table. Like, the fast that rose from the sun. Like, what? He's like, and then all of a sudden, Andrew levitated from the table <laughs> and levitated to the kitchen. <laughs> so you hear the Star Wars and the flames in the eyes, background. His eyes started glowing. <laughs> All the ancestral Native American spirits went, oh shit! <laughs> I love, I love when they retell that story. Oh man, Grandmother Willow would just like... always get to that moment, and then he rose from his head. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Good times. Yay.